Well, it is a Tuesday morning and I am boiling because I have no air conditioning. I'm going to I'm going to see Sam right now. Sam's gonna fix my air conditioning. So back to what I was talking about. Um, I gotta get this um, air conditioning uh, fixed. Sam, Sam said it's not a, not a big deal. Um, which is good. And uh, I sure slept good, good last night. Once again, I, I mean, I, I, I stayed up late, but then I slept in because I was up so late that that I basically just uh, um, I guess you call it overslept <laughs> um, for the uh, you know I usually get up at five six seven I, I, I didn't wake up until nine. It is so hot with no AC. I'm miserable right now. As you can probably tell, I'm just like, just, this heat just, it's 90, it's 90 degrees. This heat just drains you. Uh, what else is on the agenda? The, the regular stuff. I, I gotta go to. I gotta go to the uh, post office. I got to. Um, um, I got to. Just right, just just a, a, a couple normal things. Um, I talked to Scott, a subscriber, last night. It was it was nice to talk to him. We talked for a little while. Um, So a shout out to Scott. He's he he, he look, he, he's a Michigan guy. And uh, man, uh, this heat is so it's so hot. I'm uh, it's just it's just making me tired. It's just draining me. Can't even keep my eyes open. I'm so I'm so. It's like I'm like I, like I'm in a well I am I'm I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a tin can a hot tin can I gotta get the uh, windows insulated
I'm gonna um, try to uh, I'm gonna try to cool off somehow. I got some ice water. Uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Pit me. Wow, it is hot. It's 90 degrees. I just went by Sam's to, and he, but he was working on another, another vehicle. So, I told him I'd run and do a, go to the post office, just do a couple things while, while I'm waiting. Or, yeah, while I'm waiting, so. May as well make the best of my time. So I am at the post office. I haven't been here in a couple days. Shoot, actually it's been a few days. Uh, I don't even feel like rolling the windows up because I'm just, just too hot and miserable. friend of mine, Michelle, she said, uh, that if, um, that if I can't, if, if I have to leave the car or whatever, she's going to loan me her car, which was very nice of her. She's a sweetheart. So we'll see. See what happens here. And thirty three hundred, thirty three hundred, junk mail and junk mail. Always get stuff like from casinos and stuff like that. Hey. So, that is about it. I'm quite miserable today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, I'm kind of in a bind right now. Got a, I hope I hope I can get this air conditioning. Uh, I mean, the worst, the worst that you know, the worst, the worst that happens is I, is I, you know, have to have to ride drive around uh, in a hot vehicle. You know, um, and. I just don't feel like, I just don't feel like doing that because it's so hot. We got some junk mail here. Let's see what they, let's see what they sent me. They sent me Send me uh, something. S you know, S send me a free hot dog. Send me a, send me a free, free drink. Send me, send me anything. Don't send me a Q 
coupon or a, or a, or a, or a, 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 a post postcard that says I can ha have a hotel room for $119. Talk to Ron real quick. That's my old grass cutter. I'll see you in a bit. So once again, the green machine is up on the hoist. Sam's cutting the air conditioning line. air conditioning like I said it went out and the place I took it to they said oh yeah it just needs Freon so they put the Freon in and it leaked, leaked out by the next morning they they were so un, unprofessional I bring it to Sam he looks at it he says oh no you need he said uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, goes from the front to the middle and then from the middle to the back because vans have you know a long um, metal uh, alu aluminum uh, or copper pipe or what well, I think it's aluminum um, um, uh, and it has to force the cold air all the way well it's um, it's got to be uh, just leaking. So what, what he's going to do is he's going to he, what he just did. He just cut it off. Uh, he's going to he's going to cap it so there'll be no no more cold air going into the back. But it doesn't matter because that's the garage anyways. I talked about that earlier. And uh, um, and then. Um, I'll have a uh, cold, cold air, cold air again, cause I need it, cause nine, 90, 90, 90 degree plus is way too, too hot for me. I'm miserable, and I appreciate Sam so much. I, I, I wish, you know, he doesn't know how, how much I appreciate him. He's honest. He does great work. Um, you know, he's he's a good friend. He's a um, he's um, you know you don't you don't find find many many mechanics like this that you've known for twenty years that have never cheated cheated you. Um, gets me in when I need. When I need to get get my work in, work 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 done, he gets me in, and he uh, he helps me out a lot. So so, anyways, uh, there she there she is sitting up on the sitting up on the hoist so once it's all cool and I'm sitting in the van nice and cold I'll feel a whole lot better so 
I will talk to you all in a little while when it's done. So, all right, everybody. Peace. Get me. So, I'm sitting here at the at Sam's um, repair shop, and look who pulls up. <laughs> you didn't Meryl, know I was coming. I didn't know she was coming. I looked and I saw the on, on, Ontario license plate and I go, in the registers, I go, that's got to be Marilyn. And I, then, I, then I looked up and it was her. And, um, and we're, we're both miserable. Me more probably. I'm, the, the heat is just, just, the heat's just killing me. Well, it's going to take a few weeks to get used to the heat. I'm, I'm miserable. I'm tired, I'm hot, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just awful right, right now. Okay. It's all right. See all right, bye. see you guys. Hey, everybody. Well, I'm in the van, and guess what? It's nice and cold in here. That, uh... That part that he that he uh, that part that he um, that Sam needed, um, he went and picked it up. It took him longer to go pick the part up than it did to, for him to take it off and put it on. Um, but yep. Nice and cold, and uh, looking at this mini bike. There's mini bikes all over the place. This one's actually like a little, like a little. It's like a big mini bike, like a scooter, like a big, uh, like a, like a trail riding bike. Kind of nice. But yeah, feeling good. This uh, air conditioning feels great. I put it on. If I put it on high, where it blows hard, as hard as you know. Yeah, it's 90 degrees out. I have to have the, I have to have air conditioning. I can't be driving around making myself sick. I hope it, I hope I don't have any more problems. It seems like it's, seems, seems like it's problem after problem. So, thinking about going for a ride tomorrow to um, to go see one of the Great Lakes, Lake Huron. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna do that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, as long as nothing else pops up or, you know, anything, any other problems, I'm gonna go. All right, I'll catch you all later.